In Colorado over the weekend, holiday shoppers hit the stores as heavy snow fell in Lone Tree. However, it was certainly not a happy holiday scene in Lindale, Texas. Instead of holiday music coming out of the speakers around town, tornado sirens were wailing a warning for residents to take cover. Tornado on the ground. The funnel dipped and raised several times as the twister moved along. I don't see any debris right now. It hit something while I go. Going back down. More than 50 homes are damaged after two tornadoes hit northern Texas Saturday afternoon, and this one was confirmed to be an EF2 by the National Weather Service. By Sunday morning, Texans in Perryton weren't worried about twisters. It was heavy snow slowing travel, covering roads and dropping visibility. In Kansas, the flakes fell heavily all day in Hugoton, and roads recoated quickly after each snowplow run there. In Elkhart, the wind was whipping a mix of snow and sleet, bringing near whiteout conditions. And in Dodge City, the plows were hard at work to keep the roads safe there as the snow quietly blanketed Boot Hill. In Washington State, around Stevens Pass, it was a mixed bag of trouble and fun. While some drivers struggled to stay on the roads, the plow crews did their best to help. And on the mountain, the lifts were full going up, and the slopes were dotted with skiers coming down. The big issue in eastern Iowa was drenching rain that fell hour after hour. Creeks overflowed roads and drainages filled up with rushing water. And in Arkansas, severe thunderstorms swept through Siloam Springs and knocked over outbuildings and trees, snapping some like toothpicks. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.